Tonight for dinner, we are eating a dish called zarb, which is a local Bedouin dish. Wow. I am experiencing the lamb sweats right now. Good morning everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Jordan. Petra has been fantastic, but it's time to move on. We're getting ready to check out, and today we're heading to Wadi Ram, which is also known as the Valley of the Moon because of its incredible, other planet-worthy landscapes. I'm looking forward to visiting. We're on our way pretty soon. Oh, hello, Ying. <laughs> We're, we're heading to Wadi Ram today. It's raining. And it's pretty cold too. We're taking a quick rest stop. <laughs> Hot and fresh Arabic coffee. We're gonna check in here to the captain's desert camp and then after that we're gonna do some activities. Luckily the rain has cleared, it's still cloudy, but it is absolutely breathtakingly beautiful, the landscapes here. That mud just cakes up on your shoes. <laughs> it's so heavy. It is. <laughs> I don't have as much as I do. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. You have so much grip on your shoes. <laughs> The driveway is flooded, so that's why we had to jump in the back of the truck just to go a few a few meters right here to the entrance of the camp. This will be your tent. All right. This is going to be our tent where we're going to sleep tonight. Actually, we're going to switch to the room next door because it has a double bed, so this will be our room for tonight. You can immediately feel how warm and cozy it is inside of here. And these tents are made from goat hair blankets. You can feel that really coarse goat hair and it's it's really good for insulation. Ready? <laughs> we are sitting down now for lunch. They have brought out uh, another spectacular spread of different dishes and our main dish today for lunch is a tomato, kind of a tomato stew with beef, and it's called gal gayala? galaya. Galaya. It's called galaya, which is a tomato, a tomato dish, and then they've put beef in it, so it's like a tomato beef stew. First, dip into that labane. The labane here, which is the strained yogurt. <laughs> oh yeah. Mmm. It's nice and sour and just so rich and creamy. And before I swallow, I gotta take a bite of this pickled pepper. Oh wow. That complements so well. It's salty and sour. And then the labane is more like rich and creamy and sour as well. Before moving on to the main dish, I'm gonna take one more bite of the mutabal, which is eggplant. Oh, this is one of my favorite of all the Metze dishes. That literally has the, the texture of whipped cream. It's so light and fluffy, but it tastes nothing like whipped cream. It's more like, well, you can taste that eggplant, but it's so fluffy. Wow. Follow that by a green olive. Mmm. 
those contrasts between the like foamy motaba and then chasing that with a crisp and salty olive and then this is the the galaya the tomatoes you can see those chunks of tomatoes lots of beef in here and that smells awesomely tomatoey put that over the rice oh. another dish we have over here is mufaraka and this is egg with potatoes maybe some pepper in here and yeah it's like scrambled eggs can I so that on all right oh and I got to grab another handful of those pickled chilies to go with that oh thank you Fadi these chilies are really good <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. The beef is really tender. And then it's like a salty, tomatoey stew. Mmm. I'm gonna follow that by the chili. Oh. When you bite into the chili, it just, it's filled with like a briny, sour juice. And so as soon as you bite into it, it just sort of explodes with salty, spicy flavor. It's very simple, just like scrambled eggs with potato that are just blended together. Oh yeah, here comes the tea for after lunch with a fresh bouquet of mint. A wonderful thing to drink after a delicious meal like that. And then we've also got a plate of bala ilsham, which are little like, they look like little, little finger donuts. Yeah. And it tastes exactly like a finger donut. We are going on a Jeep safari now, so we're getting ready to board into this truck, or in the back of this truck, and hello. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. If you want to sit. Oh, yeah. You can, but it's just cold. It's going to be cold? <laughs> Hello, Ying. Hello, Ying. Yeah. It is pretty cold, but we're going to sit in the back of the truck at the beginning. We are setting off. Just look at these incredible desert landscapes. <laughs> Wadi Ram is known for its incredible landscapes that look like they are from another planet. And yes, yeah, seriously, we're getting into the desert now and it really looks like we have left Earth and we are on the moon or on Mars. And also a number of movies have been filmed here in Wadi Ram. And today is still a very cloudy day, but luckily the rain stopped at the moment. And even though it's not like sunny and bright, this gives kind of an eerie, spooky and like mystic feel to it when it's completely cloudy and these rugged peaks. Amazing. Check this out. Just got out of the truck. I'm gonna go take a closer look at this rock. Oh, look at that bug in the, look at that beetle in the rock. You can just hear the sound of the wind, and that's about it. Oh, this is awesome. We have just stopped at a place, and on the rock right up there, there are some Nabat ancient Nabatian inscriptions. I can see some camels and some people. Wow, that's amazing to see on the side of the rock. Yes. <laughs> I'm just bathing in the fresh air that is, is breezing right through this valley. Wow. 
check out the magnitude of the rocks surrounding me. We're gonna go climb up this sand dune. I need a little exercise. Wow, that was intense. <laughs> that felt awesome. <sighs> we just made it back to the camp. That was just mind-blowing scenery. Tonight for dinner, we are eating a dish called zarb, which is a local Bedouin dish. And that's one of the reasons many people come to Wadi Ram, is to eat this dish. And so I'm getting a behind the scenes look. We came back here to the kitchen. There, it's a, it's some, I think it's about 5 p.m. in the afternoon. We'll be eating in a couple hours, but they are getting ready to put in the rice and the vegetables and the lamb into the charcoal underground brick oven. Oh, they're just gonna put that entire rack right into the fire down below there. And now they are covering it with a layer of foil. Oh, and then finally a blanket to go on top to probably keep it the entire oven insulated and keep all that smoke and steam inside of the oven. And then lastly, they're piling on sand. That is gonna keep the chicken and the meat and the potatoes and the rice down there really nice and insulated and just keep them nice and steamy. That is gonna bake underground for about two hours. So we have two hours now to relax and hang out before dinner. <laughs> Amazing carrots, look. Yeah, so beautiful. that char roasted. Yeah. It's gonna taste so good. I can even taste it before I taste it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that just pulls off. Oh, wow. Look at that steam. Oh, and those juices. Fadi has just torn me a piece right off that lamb. Oh, you can feel those oils and that juiciness. Oh. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, that's so tender. And so flavorful. And chase that with an olive. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh wow, that's just like the purest lamb, just lamb and lamb only. It's not even salty and just very lightly spiced from that rub, but that just purely focuses on the lamb. Oh, thank you for this carrot. Oh, you can feel the softness of that carrot in your fingers. That carrot melts in your mouth. That's like a, just a fully soft and juicy and sweet carrot with that roasted, slow roasted fire flavor to it. Oh, thank you. Okay. Yeah, that is piping hot. Mm. That is also really good. That slow cooked fire underground, just keeping all, encapsulating all of that steam and smoke so it bakes and roasts and grills. 
all at the same time and you got all that smoke just bundled up. Everything is fantastic, but I haven't tasted the onion yet. I'm gonna just look at that roasted, charred, blistered skin on the outside. I'm gonna try to tear into this. Oh, oh it, just, it just slides right out. Oh, that's just spoon tender. The entire onion, you can just slide a spoon right through it like butter. Oh, and it's just dripping in juices and, and oils and oh, that aroma is ridiculous as well. Oh, okay, I'm tasting some of this onion right from the center there. Okay, I'm gonna need to blow on that real fast. That onion, it is so tender. You don't even need to chew that. It just melts in your mouth. It just literally disintegrates in your mouth and it's it's very sweet, naturally sweet onion as well. <laughs> wow. Wow. That is, that is some tasty lamb. just packed with so much lamb flavor. I am experiencing the lamb sweats right now, but Fadi and I <laughs> managed to finish off that lamb leg. That was, that was a big meal, but that was incredibly delicious. <laughs> you do not want to use a napkin for this meal. That was some delicious lamb and we hung out for a little while, but now just came back to the room. So that's gonna be it for today. Thank you all very much for watching today's video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And make sure you subscribe for lots more food videos. Good night from Wadi Ram in Jordan. <laughs> you gotta come see Ying's shoes. They're just caked up with mud. Ying, are you okay? You put me down now. You want to eat? You put me down now. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ying, you have mud shoes on. Look at that. Hello, bro. I took it. I took it.